Remember what I said last video? Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Hi, my name's Jasmine. I run the Cushetto here on YouTube. And if you remember what I said in my last video, I am pre-prepping the intros for my future videos, at least for the only next two, because I'll be at my friend's house this weekend. So I wanted the chance to get the intro and all of the yarn that I need for the videos required. So it's okay when I'm at my house, because I have all of my yarn on my shelves over here and on my bins over here. But when I'm at her house, I'm kind of in a stump. I'm only using the yarn that I bring. So if I need anything else, I'm kind of screwed out of it. So I asked for permission to pre-film the next two videos just so I could, you know, get an idea of what I'm doing at her house. So I'm not just like doing nothing. And she said yes. So I'm pre-filming this intro. I'm not going to actually be finishing this one until Sunday night, which would go up on Monday morning for you guys. So... It's a bit of a weird schedule for the minute, <laughs> but if you remember, the only reason I asked to pre-film this intro is because yesterday's video was PP, XL, PB, and J, and I suspected that it was the peanut butter and jellies from Parfait XL, and I was right. I will show you the ball since I haven't used it yet. I'm pre-filming the intros, and I would have needed extra yarn for this. I would have needed to bring purple and brown so I asked to just open them just to be shaved to make sure this is what I thought it was so that way I could make the item I wanted to and I wasn't just stuck with only the one ball I could use other balls and incorporate the yarn into making a more beautiful finished piece so that's what we're doing <laughs> this one is just called RS there's no key in it so it's not going to be uh, a parfait thing I'm curious if this one is even from Premiere because I did buy some yarns from Joann's as well except they got here late in mail as Joann's does so I wasn't able to wrap them for the majority of the time until like the last few days so this might be because there's no P I'm honestly not sure I'm just it's not going to be anything parfait because there's no P in it so it's just R. I don't know I don't have a guess for it I baffled I don't even know what where this is from at this point to know oh I ripped it a little too hard and it opened my way. Spoiled. Well, I can see it, but you guys can't. I feel spoiled now. It ripped like this. Alright, well, pull it out. Okay. Burnett Forever Fleece in the color Rolling Skew. There was a Y there. And it looks like somebody, like, kind of sharpied it out and put a U instead, so that confuses me a little bit. It's a size 6, super bulky, uh, 194 yards or 280 grams. Burn it forever, please. I've never used this before. This feels nice. Like, this feels nice. I like this. This feels nice. I'm going to be honest, I'm probably going to like cheap out this day, only because it has a blanket on the front, so I'm assuming that this is probably a blanket yarn to keep you warm, which is why it's forever fleece, or you would use sweaters or something to keep you warm because it is forever fleece, but I made an ear warmer for one of the days, and I've kind of been obsessed with making ear warmers since then. I've made one, two, three, four, five since then, and I only needed to make one for the day prompt. So I might turn this into a ton of ear warmers, which I'm happy about. You guys might not be as happy because you're not getting to see anything else. But I don't know what else to do with Forever Fleece because there's only one ball of it. So it's not like I can incorporate it into being a blanket or a sweater into any way. It's only one ball, which granted my friend doesn't know like a lot about crochet. She only sees that I do it. So the only hint and guidance she had was trying to ask me questions without giving away what she was doing. So, it's not her fault that I don't have enough yarn to use this for a blanket or a sweater. But even if I did have enough yarn to use it for a blanket and or a sweater, I would definitely not have enough time to finish that in one day. So, I feel like ear warmers is definitely the way to go in this situation. I will be able to finish it. I don't know what that car noise outside was. I apologize. It sounded like a giant screech. But... I feel like air warmers, I will be able to make a few of them for the sake of the video. I will be able to finish this ball completely without using extra, without needing to buy extra. 
I'm a little confused by her coating, though, because usually they've been, like, pretty, like, on site for what they were. Like, P usually stands for Parfait, B stands for Bonnie, and then P stands for the color purple. But today was just RS, and this is Burnett Forever, please, so. But I'm not seeing anything that starts with a J or a B. That would even imply that this was packaged on the wrong day. So I don't know why it was labeled RS. I guess to throw me off. It threw me off, alright. But I kind of like the Forever Fleece look. I like the feel a lot. So by the time you see me, I will be back in my own habitat. I will be here still. I won't be at my friend's house for the intro because I'm filming this video on the Sunday. So I will be back home in time for them. I just had to pre-open them, so if I knew I needed more yarn with them. But you'll see me back here in about 10 seconds for you guys. We're back. <laughs> 9.44 at night. So, pretty late one, if I do say so myself. <laughs> Not really, I'm just filming this part just a little bit early, just, 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 just. Just because, just because we can, we we can. I did completely reuse. I get. I completely used the ball, like down to the T. I have no scraps of it. It's just gone, and I do have a bit more backstory. <laughs> so, it was labeled like usually her coating's like pretty precise, but it was labeled R S, and it confused me. And when I opened it, it said Rolling Sky on the label, but it was like Sharpie to be Rolling Skew, like with a S-K-U. I don't know why it was like that. And my friend said she didn't know either. She didn't do that. She said on the website, it was actually called Burnett Forever Fleece Rolling Skunk. So that's why she put R-S for Rolling Skunk. So she'd know which one that was and I would know which one it is after she explained it to me. Although I don't know why it was called Rolling Skunk because it's a blue color. I feel like it was a bit of a typo error because it's not up anymore, so I think it was an error and my friend just thought it was funny and got that one. But it feels so soft, like it's so soft it's insane. First, you know I had to make a, another ear warmer. I've made way too many of these over the course of December, but I like them, so I'm going to continue to make more. But also just because this one feels super soft because it's, it's fleece. So I figured this would make a super cute ear warmer. Put this to the side. I had enough for a second ear warmer, but it's kind of small. It's not for my head. I don't know what this would fit. I don't know, maybe small child to baby. I'm unsure if this will actually fit anybody, but it's still super cute. I still love it. It's still super soft. And the reasoning, I didn't have enough yarn to create the full second version of this is because when I felt how soft the yarn is, there was one thing that my mind immediately went to. I made some bits. <laughs> so they're really cute. It's got like the little rid line at the bottom and then it's got a separate <laughs> separate uh, thumb from the mitten part, I gave myself some extra room, so my fingers end here, but there's a little bit of extra wiggle room in them, just for good measure. Some wiggle room, I love them, they're super soft, and since they're crocheted with double crochets, which are slightly bigger than, yeah, that's very, very functional. Actually, that was a bit more functional than I thought it would be. Shoo. I stand corrected. But because it's made out of double crochets, you can see there are some little holes. So I could just pop my fingers out as I please and just put them back in, which is kind of hilarious to me. That you could just be like, is it cold? <laughs> Let me check. <laughs> or I don't know. I feel like if you needed something, you could just like stick it through. Like, let me take one off, for example, and just like take... A random pen like if you were cold in your room for example I guess you could put these on and keep a drawing with your little pen at the other end I feel like that's kind of hilarious because it gets cold sometimes and you just want to wear mittens inside and these ones are super 
super soft, so I wouldn't be mad if I did. Look at my little finger poking out. I wouldn't be mad. Oh, there's another one. I wouldn't be mad <laughs> if somebody did that because I absolutely love them. They're so nice and they're so soft, and now I have a matching ear warmer. So, who doesn't love that? And if you remember, a couple days ago, I started... I had the velvet yarn and I made one little bunny. I started a second bunny. I have the body of it done. A singular ear and the start of a head. So this is not close to finishing. If I have extra time tomorrow, I will definitely come back here and finish off that bunny and then their accessories. Fingers crossed because the buddy still doesn't even have his overall straps and it's a bunny in overall. So What am I doing here? You know, like what am I doing wrong? I just didn't have enough time I had some extra time today, but clearly not enough because I started working on a second bunny but Real quick yesterday. I made the peanut butter and jelly jellyfish just in case you didn't see it I made this pattern myself. So if you guys would like a free pattern for me showing you how to do this on YouTube here. I'd love to make another one because it's super cute. I love it and it's just, I just will take an excuse to make another one. That's, that's really all I have to say. But I will show a quick sneak peek as to what tomorrow's yarn looks like because I don't think I've done that the last couple times. And it's this one. And this is clearly three different sizes of yarn. Well, not three different sizes, but three different, um, balls of it so like one two three so my suspicion is that it's another variation of um parfait chunky in here because she did tell me that this is a prompt day because it says eg on it so i was like perfect and then it says p day so i was like what does that even mean so i asked her what does p day mean is there a second e eg that i'm supposed to be looking for and she said no p day at the bottom means it's a prompt so I'm assuming it is a prompt that requires three different colors, one, two, three, so we'll see tomorrow. I feel like if it's a prompt, I'll probably have an easier time doing it, but I thought that day one, two, and Baphomet did not go as planned, and it took me like a week extra to finish them, trying to squeeze them in, in between other days. But I'm excited to open this one tomorrow, because it just looks so nice and pristine. It just looks beautiful, like that's really, it, it just looks beautiful. But that's all I have to say for tonight. I will wake up tomorrow morning early, although I'm probably going to regret it. So I will see you guys tomorrow at 7 a.m.